Today on MT Jump Hat, we're taking a look at the last of the Warhammer 40k Commander decks. This is Forces of the Imperium. So this is the Collector's Edition. The Commander here is Inquisitor Greyfax. And let's see what else we get here. So you get the 100 card Surge Foil deck with 42 new cards. The Surge Foil Display Commander. 10 double-sided Surge Foil Token Cards, Deck Box, Life Rule, Strategy, Insert, and Reference Card. So let's get into it. These things are crazy expensive right now. You're looking at about 225 230 US. I think I got this for about 180 from my local game store. There is a cheaper option, the non-foil version, currently setting you back about 84 So... Still a bit pricey, so very nice box here. They've got some punch outs, and here we've got the debt box. So there's the Inquisitor right there, very shiny. And then the deck and all the other goodies are tucked in the side. So let's take a look. We've got the life wheel here, get that in focus, goes up to 40 and counts up from one on the other side. Uh, they've also been putting in these little poster things here. So here is Inquisitor Greyfax. And then on the other side, we've got this beefy dude. One of the uh, Space Marines, I'm guessing. Alright, so let's take a look at the deck. And uh, we have opened all of the others at this point, so... Let me know in the comments, is there one in particular you like the look of? Or maybe you're giving them all a miss, let me know. Okay, so we have the display commander here. So it has the same foiling, extra thick cardstock. You would not shuffle that into your deck, however. It's a little bit bulky for that. And then we'll separate out the lands. So we'll take a look at those closer to the end of the video. And sadly, in case you were wondering about Surge Foils, that's what happens. So they still have the curling problem here. So you probably want to double sleeve these and uh, maybe put in a humidity packet in a debt box to avoid that. Okay, so... Okay, I thought there was a scratch, but it's okay. We've got Inquisitor Greyfax, legendary creature, human Inquisitor. It's a mythic. 3-3 three, three for 4 with Vigilance and Unquestionable Wisdom. Other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 and have Vigilance. And it has Hunt for Heresy. Pay 1, tap. You get to tap target creature and opponent controls and investigate. So that means create a clue token. It's an artifact with pay 2, sack this artifact, draw a card. Alright, very cool. And we've got Marius Kalgar. Okay, this is the other one. Legendary creature, Astartes Warrior. 3-5 five for 5 with double strike. Has Master Tactician. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Also has Chapter Master for 6. Create 2-2-2 two, two, two white Astartes Warrior creature tokens with Vigilance. Okay, so I'm thinking this is going to be like a token deck. We've got And They Shall Know No Fear. Instant for 2. Choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type. Get plus one, plus zero, and gain indestructible until end of turn. They are my bulwark against the terror. They are the defenders of humanity. They are my space marines. So this is the Emperor of Mankind. And I think there might be a card with the Emperor here. We'll keep our eyes peeled. We've got Grey Knight Paragon. Creature Astartes Knight. 4-4 four, four, for 5 with Flash. Has rights of banishment. When Grey Knight Paragon enters the battlefield, destroy target attacking creature. If that creature is a demon, exile it instead. So this would be good against uh, the deck we looked at the other day. Our will shall be our weapons. Our faith shall be our armor, says the Canticle of Absolution. And next up we got Space Marine Scout. Creature Astartes Scout. It's a 2-1 for 3 with First Strike and Vigilance. Has Concealed Position. When Space Marine Scout enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. 
On to the next tier, we got Thunderwolf Cavalry. Okay, so you would pick Astartes if there's anything that asks about a creature type, I think. We've got Creature Astartes Warrior 4-4 four, for four, 5. Has First Strike and Crushing Teeth. Whenever Thunderwolf Cavalry deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other creature you control. And Sicarian Infiltrator, Artifact Creature, Human Soldier 1-2 for 3 with Flash. Also has squad 2, so an additional cost to cast a spell you may pay 2 any number of times. When this creature enters battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. There we go, more token stuff. Benediction of the Omnis Omniscia, I think that says. When Sicarian Infiltrator enters battlefield, draw a card. Okay, next. Ooh, that's pretty weird. Got a Sanguinary Priest, Creature Astartes Cleric. 2-4 four for 4 with lifelink and blood chalice. Whenever another creature you control dies, Sanguinary Priest deals 1 damage to any target. Next we've got Deny the Witch! Instant for 4, counter target spell, activated ability or triggered ability. Its controller loses life equal to the number of creatures you control. And Primaris Chaplain, creature Astartes Cleric, 3-3 three, three for 4. As battle cry, whenever this creature attacks each other, attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Also has Rosarius. Whenever Primaris Chaplain attacks, it gains indestructible until end of turn. And swords to plowshares. Okay, there's some different artwork. Instant for a single white. Exile target creature, its control against life equal to its power. And reconnaissance mission, enchantment for four. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card and cycle for two. We've got Mortify, instant for three, destroy target creature or enchantment, and Mindstone, artifact for two, pay one, or not pay one, tap, add colorless, or you can pay one, tap, sack it, and draw a card. Skull Clamp, okay, I did not know that was in here, artifact equipment for one, a quick creature gets plus one, minus one, and whenever a quick creature dies, draw two cards, equip it for one. And Soul Ring. Okay, so now we've got four different variants of Soul Ring. Artifact for one, tap to add two colorless. Talisman of Dominance. Artifact for two, tap for colorless, or tap to add blue or black, and it deals one damage to you. Talisman of Hierarchy. Artifact for two, tap for colorless, or tap for white or black, and it deals one damage to you. And Talisman of Progress. Artifact for two, tap for colorless, tap it for white or blue, and it deals one damage to you. Okay, we're done with the talismans at last. We've got Arcane Sanctum. So land and battlefield tap, tap for white, blue, or black. And Ash Barons, another land, tap for colorless, has basic land cycling one. Memorial to Glory. It's a land into the battlefield tapped, tap for white, for three and a white, tap, sack it, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. We've got Arcane Signet, artifact for two, tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity, and commander's sphere, artifact for three, tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity, and if you sack it, you get to draw a card. Command Tower, so land, tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. And Dismal Backwater, enters battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield you gain one life, tap it for blue or black. And Evolving Wilds, it's a land, tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield tapped, then shuffle. And Path of Ancestry, so land, enters battlefield tapped, tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. When that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. So I'm guessing you're going to pick like Astartes probably. We've got Scoured Barons, it's land, enters the battlefield, tap. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life, tap it for white or black. And Terramorphic Expanse, that looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a land, tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. And Celestine, the Living Saint, legendary creature, human warrior, 3-4 for 5 with flying and lifelink, has healing tears. At the beginning of your end step, return target creature card with mana value XLS from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. That is a pretty crazy ability, actually. We've got Defenders of Humanity, Enchantment for X, 2 and white. When it enters the battlefield, create X, 2, 2, white, Astartes Warrior, creature tokens with Vigilance. And for X, 2 and white, exile it. You get to create X, 2, 2, white, Astartes Warrior, creature tokens with Vigilance. Activate only if you control no creatures and only during your turn. For the Emperor, Sorcery for 4, creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2. And gain Vigilance and Lifelink until end of turn. And Space Marine Devastator. That looks awesome. Creature Astartes Warrior 3-3 three, three for 4. This one has Squad 2. Also Gra Grav Cannon. When it enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. And Triumph of St. Catherine. Creature Human Warrior 5-5 five, five for 5 with Lifelink. Has Presidium Protect Diva. When it... Dies, exile it, and the top six cards of your library in a face-down pile. If you do, shuffle that pile and put it back on top of your library. And it has Miracle 1 and white, so you can cast this card for its Miracle cost when you draw it, if it's first card you drew this turn. And Ultramarines Honor Guard. Creature Astartes Warrior 2-2 two, two for 4. So it has Squad 2, and other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. We have Vexilus Praetor, Creature Custody Studies Warrior 3 4 for 4. Flash and Vigilance has Aegis of the Emperor, so commanders you control have protection from everything. That's cool. And Zephyrim, Creature Human Warrior 3 3 for 4. Squad 2, Flying and Vigilance, and Miracle for 1 and a White. We've got Sister of Silence. Creature, Human Knight, 3-3 three, three for 5 with Flash and Psychic Abomination. When Sister of Silence enters the battlefield, counter target instant spell, sorcery spell, activated ability, or triggered ability. And Vanguard Suppressor, Creature Astartes Warrior, 3-2 for 4, has Flying and Suppressing Fire. So whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. And Arco Flagellant, Creature, Human, 3-1 for 3, has Squad 2. Arco Flagellant can't block and it has Endurance, so pay 3 life and it gains Indestructible until end of turn. Okay, so that's the first part of the deck. Let's continue here. We've got Primaris Eliminator, Creature Astartes Warrior, 3, 2 for 5. So when it enters the battlefield, choose 1. It has Execution around, destroy target creature. Hyper Frag round, creature's target player controls get minus 2. Minus two until end of turn. Some nice flavor on that one. And Assault Intercessor. Creature Astartes Warrior. Three, two for three. Has first strike and menace. Oh, and he's got a chain sword. Awesome. Whenever a creature and opponent control dies, that player loses two life. Fantastic. We've got Belisarius Call. Legendary artifact creature human. Two, four for four. Has Ultima Founding. So you tap... Tap two untapped artifacts you control. You get to create two two white Artistades Warrior creature token with Vigilance and Master of Machines. Tap, tap X untapped creatures you control. You get to look at the top X cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And Birth of the Imperium. So this is a enchantment saga. On the first turn, create a 2-2 white Astartes Warrior creature token with Vigilance for each opponent you have. On the second turn, each opponent sacrifices a creature. On the third turn, draw two cards for each opponent who controls fewer creatures than you. And Kalid what is this? Kalidus Assassin. Creature Human Shapeshifter Assassin. That's pretty awesome. 3-3 three, three for 6 with Flash. And Polymorphine, you may have Calidus Assassin enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it has, when this creature enters the battlefield, destroy up to one other target creature with the same name as this creature. That's fun, so you wipe out the uh, opponent's creature and replace them with your own copy. We have Commissar Severina Rain, legendary creature, human soldier 2-2 two, two for 3. As leading from the front, whenever Commissar Severina Rain attacks, each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of other attacking creatures. Also has Summary Execution. For two, second other creature, you gain two life and draw a card. 
We got Company Commander, Creature Human Soldier 2 4 for 4 with Command Section. So when Company Commander enters the battlefield, create a number of 1 1 white soldier creature tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. And bring it down! Whenever Company Commander attacks creatures you control, gain Death Touch until end of turn. We got Cybernetica Data Smith, Artifact Creature Human Artificer 0 1 for 3. Protection from robots? What? Never seen that before. Field reprogramming for a blue tap. Target player draws a card. Another target player creates a 4-4 colorless robot artifact creature token with this creature can't block. Okay, so there we go. That's where the robots come in. And Epistolary Librarian. Creature Astartes Wizard 3-4 for 4. Has Veil of Time. So whenever Epistolary Librarian attacks, you may cast a spell with mana value X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost where X is the number of attacking creatures. Exterminatus, sorcery for seven. Non-land permanents your opponents control lose indestructible until end of turn. Destroy all non-land permanents. Some may question your right to destroy 10 billion people. Those who understand know that you have no right to let them live. It says Exterminatus Extremis. That is pretty extreme actually. And the flesh is weak. Enchantment for five. When the flesh is weak, enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And creatures you control with a plus one plus one counter on them are artifacts in addition to their other types. Non artifact creatures get minus one, minus one. And Inquisitor Eisenhorn. Legendary creature, human Inquisitor 2 3 for 4. You may reveal the first card you draw each turn as you draw it, and whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery card this way, create Cherubia Bael, a legendary 4-4 black demon creature token with flying. That came out of left field. Uh, whenever Inquisitor Eisenhorn deals combat damage to a player, investigate that many times. And Nayam Shai Murad, legendary creature, human rogue 3-3 three, three for 4, has rogue tra trader, so whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may have that player return target permanent card from their graveyard to their hand. If you do, that player chooses a permanent card in your graveyard, then you put it onto the battlefield under your control. Good deal. And Sister Hospitola, creature human cleric 3-2 for 6, has Medicus Ministorum. When Sister Hospitola enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. You gain life equal to its mana value. And Sister Repentia, creature human warrior 5 1 for 5, has martyrdom, so when it dies, you gain 2 life and draw 2 cards. Also has miracle for white and the black. Here we go, the golden throne. I remember seeing this earlier. The eye is glowing, it looks like. Legendary artifact for 4 has arcane life support. If you would lose the game, instead exile the golden throne, and your life total becomes 1. Ooh. A thousand souls die every day. Tap, suck a creature, you get to add three mana in any combination of colors. An Inquisitorial Rosette artifact equipment for two. So it has Inquisition Agents. Whenever a quick creature attacks, create a 2 2 white Astartes Warrior creature token with Vigilance that's attacking. Then attacking creatures gain menace until end of turn. You can equip it for three. We've got a Knight Paladin. Artifact Vehicle 6-6 six, six for 5 with Trample has Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. So when it enters the battlefield, it deals 4 damage to each opponent. You can crew it for 1. And Reva Titan. Artifact Vehicle 10-10 ten, ten for 7. What? Has Void Shields. Protection from Mana Value 3 or less. And Gatling Blaster. Whenever it attacks, it deals 5 damage to each opponent. That is brutal. You can crew it for 4. And Redemptor Dreadnought, Artifact Creature Astartes Dreadnought 4-4 for 5, has Fallen Warrior. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. Has Trample and Plasma Incinerator. Whenever it attacks, if a card is exiled with it, it gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the power of the exiled card. Thunderhawk Gunship, Artifact Vehicle. 6-6 six, six, for 6 with flying, so when it enters the battlefield, create 2 2-2 two, two, two white Astartes Warrior creature tokens with vigilance, and whenever it attacks, 
Attacking creatures you control gain flying until end of turn. You can crew it for two. And Bastion Protector, creature, human, soldier, 3-3 three, three for three. Commander creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and have indestructible. I think we saw one like that earlier in the deck. And Collective Effort, sorcery for three, has Escalate, tap an untapped creature you control, and choose one or more. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Destroy target enchantment, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature target player controls. Deploy to the front. Sorcery for seven. Create X one one white soldier creature tokens where X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. Entrapment maneuver. Instant for four. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. You create X one one white soldier creature tokens where X is that creature's toughness. Fell the mighty. That looks awesome. Sorcery for five. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creature's power. And Hour of Reckoning, Sorcery for 7 has Convoke, so your creatures can help cast a spell, each creature you tap while casting a spell pays for 1, or 1 mana of that creature's colour. Destroy all non-token creatures, and because you're creating tons of creatures, uh, token creatures here, you're going to be mostly unaffected by that. We've got Launch the Fleet, Sorcery for a single white has Strive. The spell costs one more to cast for each target beyond the first. Till end of turn, any number of target creatures each gain. Whenever this creature attacks, create a 1 1 white soldier creature token that's tapped and attacking. And Martial Coup, sorcery for X and 2 white. Create X 1 1 white soldier creature tokens. If X is 5 or more, destroy all other creatures. Utter End, instant for 4, X old target, non land permanent. And Ever Flowing Chalice, artifact for zero, has multi kicker two, so you can pay that additional two any number of times as you cast this spell. It enters battlefield with a charge counter on it for each time it was kicked. You can tap it to add colorless mana for each charge counter on Ever Flowing Chalice. Okay, so that's the bulk of the deck. Let's take a look at the lands here. We've got a choked estuary. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal an island or swamp card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield. Tap, tap it for blue or black. Darkwater Catacombs, the land, pay one, tap, you get to add blue and black. Exotic Orchard, another land, tap to add one mana of any colour that a land an opponent controls could produce. And Port Town. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a plains or island card from your hand. If you don't, it enters battlefield tapped, tap it for white or blue. And Prairie Stream, land, plains, island, tap for white or blue. Enters tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. We've got a Sky Cloud Expanse. This one you pay one tap, get to add white and blue. Sunken Hollow, uh, tap for blue or black. Enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Tranquil Cove, another one enters tapped. When it enters battlefield, you gain one life, tap it for white or blue. And then we have some basics here. So we've got one, five of those, swamps, seven of those, plains, and eight of those. Okay, so now we've just got the tokens left here. So looking like a pretty cool deck. I think we will have a lot of soldier tokens here. So we've got a 1-1 one, one Soldier on the other side. Space Marine Devastator, that's pretty crazy. 3-3, three, three. when it enters battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. Okay, so we've got a Soldier on the other side. We've got Zephyrim with Flying and Vigilance. Human Warrior, 3-3. Three, three. Another 1-1 one, one Soldier. And Ultramarines Honor Guard on the other side, 2-2. Two, two. Starty's Warrior, other creatures you control get plus one plus one. So we've got another 1-1 one, one Soldier. Sycarian Infiltrator, and when it enters battlefield, draw a card. So this is a 1-2 Human Soldier. Another Soldier, I like how they've got different artwork on a bunch of these. Vanguard Suppressor, token creature of Starty's Warrior, 3-2. With flying, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, on the other side here, Soldier and Arco Flagellant, 
Three one, it can't block. Pay three life, it gains indestructible until end of turn. And Astartes Warrior two two with vigilance. On the other side, we've got a robot. Okay, there we go. This creature can't block. Four four, Astartes Warrior with vigilance two two. Another robot, and Astartes Warrior. We've got Cherubiel flying four four demon. That's creepy. Start his warrior, and on the other side, we've got a clue token. Okay, and then parts of your turn, and popular magic formats. And I would say Commander is probably the most popular right now. So this looks like a fun deck. Uh, very obviously, lots of tokens you're creating, wiping out opponents without tokens. Uh, based on what your opponents have, you can get to do different stuff. So... Yeah, definitely different flavor of deck to the others we've seen so far. Leave a note in the comments what you think of each of these decks. Do you think you'd pick this one up? Obviously, pricing is a bit of an issue though. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.